Thank you, Dash. And I am here with Dominate after that long and exhausting win for Team Liquid. Now, coming into that game, uh, you guys obviously went with a more early game oriented team. How do you go about um, conducting one of those team comps when you know you're faced with these late game damage threats? You guys did a really good job getting uh, early picks and controlling that vision. Um, I think it just came down to us playing well early game. We wanted to have more playmaking potential because the comp we played yesterday, it was kind of like a more difficult comp to play for us. We had to kind of like wait and poke in like group siege like really effectively. And when you don't have much practice with like obviously um, Keith on the team, you kind of just want to play like a more binary type of style. So it's like we all just go in. That's it. That's, that's the whole team fight. So we wanted to be champions where we could all um, just have CC, just have the ability to gap close and get into a team fight. And it was just really up to us getting ahead early game. So we just um, picked lanes with CC which gives me a lot of help as a jungler because I have a lot of options to gank um, any lane. So it puts a lot of pressure on them because they know I can, I, I can be anywhere. And if we just are able to turn some of those early kills, we can snowball the game. And speaking of Keith, uh, after you guys have brought him back in, how has it um, changed the team dynamic at all? Have, have you guys already started seeing those effects? Uh, yeah, like Keith is a really fun guy. It kind of lifts our spirits because he's, everything's new to him, right? Like you have me on the team, um, like special, Quas is, is like super like stone cold, et cetera. So like when you have a bunch of veterans, it's nice to have like some like young life on the team and everything's new to him. Like every LCS game is super exciting. He learns every uh, match and he keeps on getting better and better. So um, I'm actually really happy with, with how Keith played. I think he did a really good job day bouncing back and just playing a solid game. Three times five bar dragon buffs, four barons. He's pretty new to this uh, situation as well. What goes through the team comps when you guys are on this earlier oriented uh, team composition and you're facing this TSM that are continuously pentakilling you inside of their own base when you have baron buffs and the dragons? Well, really, we just wanted to make sure that Wild Turtle um, had a good fantasy line. That was like the. <laughs> That was the main. That was the main purpose of that. So, uh, he's on my fantasy team, obviously. So we were just obviously. like, no, no. But all jokes aside, um, we just needed to make sure that we kept our advantages. Like, we, if we continue getting in hibs and they always have in hib pressure, they can't ever come out and fight like a baron or a dragon, because if they do do that, like you saw at the end, we just end up TPing to their base, double TP, just go into the base and um, kill the nexus. But. It was really just us. We need to calm down in that situation. Like the call was originally like, yeah, just like sit on them with the Baron waves. Like we have three inhibs that's with Baron buffs. That's what I called too. Yeah, I was like, I was like, please just sit on them. And then like people just get so hyped because they're like, oh my god, we're about to beat TSM. Like go 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 go. Instead, instead, it should just be like, no, just poke them. Just let the minion waves just like win the game for us. So we just need to be more relaxed. And I mean, obviously, it was a little bit of a communication barrier coming in there because we we wanted to poke if Phoenix wanted to go, but. In the end, we were able to rally together and take down the Nexus. Well, that's got to be a good feeling for all of you guys. And you do have Gravity coming up next week, uh, looking to get your vengeance on them. How do you, how do you think you're looking forward to that game? Um, yeah, I mean, we're just going to treat it like every other game, just try to be solid. I think if we prepare well and we just um, play a team comp that we're comfortable in, I think that uh, things will be looking up for us in the future. All right, well, thank you. We're done here. Uh, I'm going to have to run back up to the caster desk uh, because Jat's lazy or sick and didn't decide to come in today. Uh, we're going to send it back to the analyst desk now. Just kidding, I love you, Jat. <laughs>